et pesant 160,5 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, from La Salle, wearing red trunks with black trim, and weighing in at 160,5 pounds. Il a une prise professionnelle de 38 victoires, 26 par KO et 3 nuls en 43 combats. His professional record raised an impressive 38 wins, 26 by knockout and 3 draws in 43 bouts. Mesdames, Messieurs, le 14e aspirant de la WBC et le champion canadien des poids moyens. Ladies and gentlemen, he is ranked 14th by the WBC and is also the current Canadian middleweight champion, Davy Hilton! Et dans le coin bleu de Soweto en Afrique du Sud, portant la culotte noire et or, et faisant 166,4 livres, introducing fighting out of the blue corner from Soweto, South Africa wearing black trunks with gold trim and weighing in at 166.4 pounds. En 49 combats professionnels, il a remporté 40 victoires, 26 par KO et 2 nuls. He shows an impressive 40 wins, 26 by knockout and 2 draws in 49 professional bouts. Mesdames, Messieurs, accueillons le champion mondial des super moyens de la WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBC super middleweight champion of the world, Dingan, the Rose of Soweto, Tobella. Dingan Tobella, 34 years old, and he is the champion, the WBC World Super Bowl Bait Champ. And right now, his job is to keep it away from 37-year-old Davey Hilton Jr., who is getting his first shot. Here's a look at the tail of the tape. Uh, Davey Hilton, just about an inch and a half edge, uh, six pounds going to Tabela. As far as age, well, Tabela's three years younger. And as far as reach, he has four inches, 72 to 68. Generally, pretty even down the board, my screen. Oh, it definitely is. The bell goes, and this fight is underway. This is the one that they've, well, pretty much filled this Molson Center in Montreal for tonight. Hilton, of course, in the red trucks, and Tabela in the black trucks. Stephen Brunt, what does Davy Hilton have to establish early here? Well, just what he's established there is body, body work right off the top. Through a nice little jab, double left hook the first time, and then through two body shots the second time. That's going to be somewhere he's going to be aiming all through this fight. Yeah, you like to see Hilton follow everything up from that jab. The jab is so important. It's just, it's just like a whip. And there's no mystery to Davies. Oh, game. nice! Oh, that even buckled his leg a little bit. That right hand of the body. Very good body shot. Those will pay off now. They'll also obviously pay off later in the fight. Didn't we see that the last fight? I think so. Yeah. Davey Hilton certainly has come Ooh, out in control. Here, nice body he? shot. Looks mentally prepared and physically ready. And I think, again, he stunned Tabela with those body punches. Tabela obviously just uh, trying to feel out, see what uh, Hilton's got. And he's uh, felt two nice body shots there. And Davey Hilton well knows Tabela's not a fighter that he's going to take out here easily here either. Oh, he buckled his leg again with that right hand of the body. I don't know. Oh, Davey Hilton has really come out. Oh, his body shot aggressively, and oh. he's got Tabela stung here. I think he does. Took wow. away his legs right there. Well, Davey Hilton Tabela certainly put these fans into the fight quickly. Here comes Tabela. Now he got his wake-up call. And you see Tabela's hand speed. He's pretty quick, as if befitting a former lightweight. Davey doing the dancing. Letting his feet do the talking right now. A little showmanship there. But when you extend yourself this way, it takes a lot of energy to do a lot of dancing, doesn't it? Well, it can. But again, this one, Davey Hill in the fight, when Davey Hill was at his absolute peak, this is he the way he fought. It. Yep. But when you're 37, it's different than being 24, 25. You know, you got to pick your spots. Or yeah, you got to pick your spot. You, you would think with, with Hilton being... Uh, you know, the, the challenger, Tabello being the champion, Tabello would come out nice and relaxed, where it's been the complete opposite. 
Hilton's come out nice and relaxed, shooting that jab. Snap his head back. So Bailey, you see that sneaky little right hand? Oh, yeah, that is right his, there again. That, that was his one. best punch. Yep, went in and found a chin. And you're right, uh, Mike. It seems like Tabela is uh, is prepared to feel out this first round, but he's up against someone who had no intention of feeling at all. Any feeling that Davy Hilton wanted was his punches landing on Tabela's body. You'd like to see that too, Hilton digging down to that body, especially in the first round, because that's going to pay big dividends going in the later rounds. Bell goes. First round is over. Oh boy, can you hear that crowd? Uh, it, was a, it was a very good round for Davey, but you saw we have two wily old guys here. Boy, both these guys know how to fight. Hilton obviously taking the body that was given to him, but Tabela did some really cute stuff in that round as well, exploiting his hand speed and dropping that little right hand. Yeah, that sneaky right, right hand. hand. Not too many people get uh, can do that. You know, hit you with that sneak right hand lead. All he, all he used to do it all the time, but he's one of the very few that can do it. I know you love this this game. We'll take a look at the replay here. Of the, I think we'll see the body shots. Yeah. Oh, and he buckled his legs. Yep. Yeah. Well, he buckled his legs twice with the body shot. Another again. time. Davy Hilton had a, a really impressive first round of this fight. Back to you, Stephen Brunt. Now, your, your love for the fight game. But it is a chess match, and some people don't realize that they call it the sweet science, and it is a science. Yeah, it's not it, just going out and the best man winning uh, as in a barroom brawl. No, it can be a pretty savage chess match, obviously, sometimes. But in, in this case, you've got two guys who really understand the art of it, and uh, this is this is going to be a treat. Guy Jutra, our uh, international judge for this fight, uh, yeah. this championship fight, you gave the first round to Davey Hilton. Absolutely, and uh, of course, uh, with his uh, body of work, uh, that really worked. Now, the thing that uh, we have to keep in mind is that as the fight progresses, Davey is expanding more uh, energy and Tabella. We'll have to see in the later rounds, that's going to be very significant. But the first round was a good start, 10-9 for Davey. Thank you, Guy Jutra. Davey Hilton, something to work with here. I know in training camp, um, Hilton trained with uh, Interbox people, and he never sparred more than six rounds at a time. So we see how that uh, that plays into it at the end of this fight. Again, uh, working the body on Tavela. Is that an attempt just to wear him down a little bit? Just keep sending the message? Oh, certainly, yeah. Uh, that, uh, might, what might just, uh, that little bit of news Mike passed on, though, is a bit uh, spooky. Right, it is. Uh, Maybe a concession to age to some degree, but that is certainly not standard practice going into a 12-round fight. And you know Hilton, he never leaves anything in the gym. He leaves it all out here. Yeah, that's true. We're in the second round. This one is a scheduled 12-round WBC title fight. Hilton in red trunks. Cabela in the black. Referee, by the way, is Elmo Edel. He's from New Jersey, I believe, uh, Steve. I'm, yeah, I'm actually not. I know he works a lot in Mississippi and in the southern United States. Certainly a veteran title referee for the WBC, World Boxing Council. We've actually got two very similar fighters here, similar size when you look at them now. And again, both very skillful, very slick. Under a minute to go in the second round. Tabilo really not showing showing us too much no. as of yet, but uh, I don't know if he's saving it or what. Oh, there's a nice left hook to the body. See how he finishes. Oh, that, again, you know, this round certainly quieter than round one. Particularly on behalf of Davey Hilton, although there's still plenty of time. <laughs> Hilton making his presence felt in the first. Tabilo now trying to get something done. He's being a little more aggressive in the second. There's a flurry of body punches by David. And that's going to win him these rounds. If, uh, the way things are going, he's, you know, he's, he's fighting very well defensively. Oh, oh that, that was low. That, that was, was low, all right. Uh, where, uh, and yet the referee... Uh, Elmo didn't, didn't blink at that one. No, way. didn't blink. I think Tobela blinked, but I'm not sure Elmo <laughs> did. And that will do damage, too. You want to be able to move after that. Well, that's a, a lucky break for Davey Hilton, wouldn't you say, Mike Strange, as oh, the bell definitely. goes? Oh, for sure. And like I said, the Hills will try in and punch in the leg. Uh, whip you up against the ropes. Give you a little elbow there. Easier to fight. There's the bill, his most important bouts, and the most recent one uh, earlier this year against Glenn Cantley, who is here watching tonight. And it was a knockout in the 12th round. And Glenn Cantley will get the opportunity to fight the winner.